This is Dafyomi Kalaim, Dafyomi Yushan Mrs. Kalaim, and the last goes for a vision of the Daf Mem Gimel and Beis. Got pretty far Mem Gimel and Beis yesterday, but we're going to start with Daf Mem Gimel and Beis, and we're in the uh, Vilna on Daf Chov Gimel Amud Aleph. Nine lines from the top. Rabbinon, Rabbinon Lo Amar Kain El Shmona Amos Aser. If it's eight Amos, you know, actually, let's start from the from the, from. Let's start earlier, because otherwise we're not going to get this right. Let's start from Mem Gimel Amud Aleph. Let me start with the sugyot, just in case confusing. Let's start from Gimel Amud Aleph from the two dots. The Rez Miyakov Omer Chulei. And that actually is going to be here in the Vilna. Uh, 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 Top of Gimel Amud Aleph. Um, that's the Shem Rabbi Yechanan. Yeah, the second line from the top of uh, of Chov Gimel Amal. Yes, Hashem Yechanan said, "Asher Rosh Yaakov be Be Shammai." Rosh Yaakov is going like Be Shammai. Mother Be Shammai, Rome Amu Shur Achas Kerem. Just like Be Shammai said, one row already makes a Kerem. Can Rosh Yaakov Rome Shur Achas Kerem? So Rosh Yaakov holds one Shura is a um, is already considered to be a Kerem. So the um, uh, the uh, I have here in the my side. Uh, it said that each shura is by itself, and there's in other words, is, is, well, we have two shuras and a big gap in the middle. Where's the shnei kinei shnei bechad yotzei zonav? There isn't. So it must be that you have to that each shura, each shura in and of itself is a karam. Uh, as he says here, k'mar de beisham emu shuachas karam kem rebels miyakov ame shuachas karam manashach. So the gemara has says no matter what you look at, karam gadol also, if it's if it's a, a, a large karem, then it's also if there's a, a gap of eight or less. Karem katanu also b'shmoyne. If it's a small karem, so uh, um, uh, it's uh, it's uh, also the um, the um, it's also with a gap gap of eight or less. I have it in the other half, and as far as more, this is b'nichusa. Not it's not a question. This is. But now that I see that, uh, oh, now I'm going over again, I see it's, uh, it's really a question. And uh, Reb Chaim explains, uh, it's, yeah, it's difficult what, what, what Rabbi Elisabeth and Yaakov concludes in the Mishnah. Elisabeth and Yaakov says, uh, So the question is like this, if they have a Kerem Gadol, when they have three rows, right, uh, uh, or when there are two rows, uh, they are uh, they both out there was eight, right? And since you said Ashur is a Karen, so even if you may initially meet two, two rows, so you have to distance yourself from each uh, row four Amos, and then uh, when you only have eight Amos between the two, so the whole, you, the, all you, you, you have, that's, that's, that's the Shir HaChaka, and you don't have any place to plant. So, okay, if you don't say like Be Shammai, so then you can say that if uh, uh, there, there's eight Amos between the two of them, they're not a Karen. They're like an indiv individual gra grapevines. All you have to do is you have to mark it six plucking and plant the rest, right? So, um, so, but um, uh, if you're going to say like that, he holds like, he holds like, 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 so then, he uh, can say, she's going to be clean, not in Musa, but Amos. What do you mean? You have to have marchik four from one side, four from the other side. You have nothing left. Again, if you don't say b'sham, if each shul is a karen, how are you going to be a mark? Uh, where are you going to plant? So the uh, says, um, uh, again, let's see inside. Marasha karen kado asa b'shmona, karen kado asa b'shmona. According to b'sham, right? Simi lo marke. So Rabbi Yudin said, didn't say like this. He said. Uh, rather, Elok Shmona Amos Osir. If it's eight, and I can't be eight Amos is Osir. Shmona Bekol Shul Mutter. You're right. Uh, if there's only eight Amos, you can't plant. If only there's uh, more than eight Amos, you can plant. And if there's more than eight Amos, you can plant whatever you have above the eight Amos. Um, uh, 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 Shumitchil Nato Mata Sheshesrei El Sheshesrei. I'm sorry, skip, sorry. 
Rebchir Barashi B'Shem, even if there were initially was three rows there. Rebchir Barashi B'Shem Rab said, Alok Rebbe Meir Rebbe Shimon. Alok is like Rebbe Meir Rebbe Shimon. Okay, fine. But what? Which way? Ma Muta Ezer Muta Ezer, that it's Muta whenever it's planted there, it's Muta even deliberately planted there. Muta Ezer Muta Ezer, but it's not allowed to deliberately plant there, but wherever you plant there, it's okay with the Evet. Madam, Rebbe Ba, Mashach Li Rebbe Chir Barashi Karmi, Mata Shmoyna Al Shmoyna, so since uh, the Rabbi Chia, uh, Rabbi Ba said Rabbi Chia Barashi came and measured my karen for me, and uh, 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 um, and, he, uh, and he said it is he, he measured it to be eight by eight, uh, and evidently he allowed him to plant in the middle with a hog of six foot from each side. I don't want is wrong. You must see that it's not allowed to. Uh, was as long as there's eight elements in between, you're allowed to. Uh, even there was a third row there initially, so then you're allowed to be marking six twachim from each side and plant in the middle. Ravuna Zara Karme Kartin. Ravuna planted his uh, between between the rows of his carry planted cabbages, krishim. They know some shul climb. <laughs> so the Gemara says, Arvin Habyon, the the Kfarim were not in straight rows; they were zigzagging. And they didn't have a chalei shem kerem to answer. They have the gefni yichidis. Okay, fine, maybe. So what? Still, at least as we are chokov and six tvachim, right? <laughs> so I can plant between among the grapevines. And Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Shmuel, ain't able to gefni yichidis. Not only Rabbi Shmuel, so you don't even mark even six tvachim from an uh, individual gefni. Uh, 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 so the Gemara says, it's actually a question. What about Chachamim? Chachamim say he needs six Tvachim. Okay, fine. Mishra says he's not, but we pass many Chachamim. Now, but Yedim Shem, Rabbi Shem, Levi said, how long could he be a Mishra make up a Chutzlaretz? He's planning Chutzlaretz. Chutzlaretz, we can pass me like Rabbi Shmuel, because how long in Moshe Messina is that how long in Chutzlaretz is like the Mako in Eretz Yisrael. It's like the line. So therefore, so it's not a problem. He can plant cabbages among his grape leaves. Rabbi Yaakov Rachav, a tiny time on, how long could he be a Mishu who make up a chutzpah? And that's what we like. We learned that Rabbi Yaakov Rachav said, and they learned all, and they taught in Bavel that halacha is like the Mako in chutzpah. Um, so the Rabbi Gilin Yerushalayim says, That we should make a mashma, a kapayim somewhere. Can the kapayim shlosh is fachim boy? Those are high, high season these three fachim. I don't know. Somehow the the the, the Gideon Hashas wants to say that he still needs three fachim, but I don't know where he's getting that from. Uh, oh well, don't know. Not like he doesn't need to get upgraded at all. P.S. and May, we finished the paragraph. Bring him down a little bit off. We'll stop here for the night.